In this video, I'll show you how to set up Qubit Torrent with Gluten on a Synology NAS using Container Manager. If you're new to these applications, Qubit Torrent is a free and open source BitTorrent client known for its simplicity and performance. While Gluten is a lightweight open source VPN client that routes your internet traffic through a secure VPN tunnel. We'll combine these tools to ensure Qubit Torrent uses Gluten so your real IP address stays hidden and your traffic is encrypted. Let's get started by first installing Container Manager and the text editor application from the Package Center. Container Manager will allow us to create and manage our BitTorrent Gluten project, while the text editor application will help us edit configuration files later. Next, let's set up the folder structure. Open the Shared Folder control panel and create a shared folder named Downloads. This is where your downloaded torrent files will be stored. While setting this up, uncheck the option to enable the recycle bin, but make sure to check the box to enable data checksum for advanced data integrity. Once that's done, Open File Station and create a Torrents folder under the Download Shared Folder. Now go to the Docker Shared Folder and create another folder named QubitTorrent Gluten. Then inside this folder, create the subfolders for QubitTorrent and Gluten. Container Manager will use these folders when we set up the project. With the folder structure complete, let's enable SSH access. Open Control Panel once again, go to Terminal and SNMP, and enable the SSH service. We'll need this later to run a few commands on the NAS. Next, we'll create a dedicated user account for this setup. Open the User and Group Control Panel and create a new user. I'll name mine Downloader. Generate a random password for this user, which you won't need to save since you won't ever log in directly to this account. Check the box to disallow the user from changing their password. Then give this user read-write access to the Docker and download shared folders. Deny permissions for all applications and finish setting up the account. Now let's SSH into the NAS using an admin account. Once you're logged in, run the id command followed by the name of the user you just created. This will give you the user's UID and GID, which we'll need later. At this point, you'll need to choose a VPN service provider that's supported by Gluten, and here is the current list of providers. For this video, I'll be using Provado VPN, which is one of the VPN service providers I've been using for a while. I like Provado VPN because it is a zero-log VPN based out of Switzerland, a country with some of the best consumer privacy laws in the world. If you are interested in Provado VPN, check out my affiliate link in the description below to get the best price on their plans, or try their free plan to explore their service before committing. With all the prerequisites in place, let's move on to setting up the Qubit Torrent Gluten project. Open Container Manager and select Project. Click Create to start up the Create Project Wizard. Give the project a name and set the path to the QBitTorrent Gluten folder you created earlier under the Docker Shared folder. For source, select Create Docker Compose.yaml and paste in the configuration file provided in the description below. The configuration is created to use an external.env file. So unless you've made changes to the file structure or plan to use a different VPN service provider, you shouldn't need to make any edits. Click through the remaining windows, uncheck the box to start the project once it's created, and click Done. Next, let's configure the .env file. Open the text editor application, select File, then New, and paste in the contents of the .env file from the description below and update the following details. First, add your Provado VPN OpenVPN username and password. Then set the region, 
which you can find by returning to your SSH session where you can run this command. This will return the list of countries, regions, cities, and host names for Pravado VPN servers. For this video, I'll use the California region, but choose a region that works best for you. Next, for PUID and PGID, enter the UID and GID from the user account we created earlier. Finally, for TZ, enter in the time zone that you are currently in or most appropriate for your setup. Once you've made these edits, save the file as .env in the qubittorrent-gluten folder. Now back in Container Manager, select the Qubit Torrent Gluten Project, click Action, then select Build. If everything goes smoothly, the build will complete and you'll have a working Qubit Torrent container secured by Gluten and connected to Bravado VPN. Next, let's confirm that the setup is working by checking if the Qubit Torrent container is using the VPN. First, open your SSH session again and check your public IP address by running this command. Now run the same command from within the qubit torrent container. If the two IP addresses are different, then qubit torrent is successfully routing traffic through the VPN. Now let's log in to qubit torrent to finish the setup. Open a new browser tab and navigate to your NAS IP address followed by port 8090 to get to the qubittorrent web UI login window. Log in with the username admin and the temporary password that was generated when starting the project. You'll find the password from Container Manager within the qubittorrent gluten project under the logs for the qubittorrent container. Once logged in, I'd recommend changing the password by opening Settings, switch to the Web UI tab, and update the password. Save the changes, then log out and log back in to confirm that the password change was successful. Next, let's configure the Download Settings. Open Settings, then go to the Downloads tab. Set the default torrent management mode to Automatic. Change the settings for when default save path changed and when category save path changed to relocate affected torrents. Update the default save path to slash downloads slash completed. Enable the option to keep incomplete torrents in and confirm that slash downloads slash incomplete is in the associated text box and save your changes. At this point, Qubit Torrent is fully set up and any files you download will be accessible in the Downloads Shared folder. If you'd like more information about this setup, check out the links I referenced in the description below. Also, you may want to check out my transmission with OpenVPN video linked here on screen. Lastly, if you'd like to support my work or hire me to assist with setting up Qubit Torrent and Gluten on your Synology NAS, check out the links on screen or in the description below. Thanks so much for watching.